Well, Michael and Scott, you guys have a unique bond, not only as father and son, but a year and a half ago, June 28th of 2017, Michael, you, you saved your dad's life here. Uh, tell me a little bit just about what happened. Well, I understand you two are watching Band of Brothers in your living room. Yeah, well, you know, we were watching Band of Brothers, and then again, he threw off his glasses, which I thought was unusual, and looked over to see he was almost having a seizure-like panic attack, and so instantly I called the, the police, and I said, hey, my dad's having a seizure, I, I need help. And so they said, okay, responded very quickly, said the police are coming over, we need you to put him on a hard surface and count to four with me. And I go, why do we need to count to four? And they said, put your hands in the middle of the chest and then you'll press down two inches. So I remember quickly just counting to four and one, two, three, four, every time I counted, I would do compressions on him for about 20 seconds. And then that's when the police came and took it from there. And Scott, obviously, you know, we were talking this before we went on camera, you know, a father-son relationship is always hopefully strong anyway, but just, you know, what's this been like knowing, you know, so close, such an experience like that, and your son was right there to do what had to be done? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, God put him there beside me. It could have happened anywhere at any time. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just so proud of the way he acted, the adult nature of the situation and how this 17 year old, my 17 year old son acted uh, very swiftly and uh, uh, executed what he was told uh, perfectly or else, or else I wouldn't be around.